Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 80 of Eagle News. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2020. Happy National Chocolate Fondue Day. My name is Liv. And my name is Lainey. Hey Lainey, what is Chocolate Fondue Day? Glad you asked. Chocolate Fondue Day is a made-up holiday that encourages people to get together with family and friends and enjoy a delicious fondue pot with gooey melted chocolate. And you know what, Liv? I've never even had chocolate fondue before. I have. It's delicious. It's perfect with strawberries and bananas. Okay, for today's Black History Month fact is Ruby Bridges, born in September 8th, 1954. She was an American civil rights activist. At only six years old, she was the first African-American child to desegregate an all-school element, an all-white elementary school, William Franz Elementary in New, or New Orleans, Louisiana, in 1960. For our first video, Sam, Olivia, and I created a video of six different words using six different shots. Roll it. Falling easy. Getting up is harder. That was a really good video, Liv. It sure was a lot of fun to create. Let's get to some headlines. There are no new headlines, but a couple of reminders. During the month of February, the entire district is participating in an African American reading. The goal is to have students read books by black authors that elevate black experiences. This year, the book Ghost by Jason Reynolds was chosen for our middle school and high school reading. The main reading event will take place February 2nd from 7 to 8 p.m. with the host, Matthew Carter, the inspiration behind Ghost, for a visual book talk. Students and their families are invited to attend. Eighth graders, check out the activity on Schoology because if interested, there's only a week left to sign up for the Olentangy Academy for ninth grade. The deadline is midnight on February 7th. And also, if you are wearing your new Hyatt shirts just like us, come see Mr. Meta near his room at any time during the day to get a picture taken. That's it for today's headlines. Now let's go over to Sam and Olivia in the Eagle News weather station for today's weather. Thanks guys. Today in Powell there is a high of 37 degrees and a low of 20 degrees, which is cold. It will be cold this whole week, so make sure you stay warm. Also, the wind will be up to 17 miles per hour, which may sound like a lot, but a little fun fact, to knock over the average person, the wind needs to be up to 120 miles per hour. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. Now let's head back to the newsroom to see the next segment of the news. Thanks for that great report, Sam and Olivia. Hey, Lanny. Why was the baby strawberry upset? I don't know why. Because it was in a jam. <laughs> Speaking of food, let's go see what is for today's lunch. For lunch today, you will be having brunch for lunch, chicken sandwich, pizza crunchers, or a deli entree, with of course your choice of milk, veggies, and fruit. I can't wait for lunch. Me too. Let's do it for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's look at our video of the week. Today we are taking a look at the battle between Miss Sloan and Mr. Nicolosi in the Friday Relay Race. How exciting. Those two are always interesting. Let's go check it out. And I'm Megan. And today we're doing the Academic Relay Friday video of the week. Let's go meet our contestants. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Sloan. I teach sixth grade math, and I'm going to crush Mr. Nicolosi. I'm Mr. Nicolosi. I teach sixth grade social studies, and I know I'm going to win. I try. <laughs> Here is the course walkthrough. Their first problem is a factoring problem for math. Next, they're going to run up to the basketball and dribble around the cone. For their social studies problem, they're going to have to match states and capitals. And then to, and then to finish it off, they're going to have to make up a five-second TikTok dance. 
I don't care if you're, pre if you're pregnant. You guys got it. <laughs> don't hurt the baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenny, Mr. Nicolosi and Mrs. Sloan have just started the relay race and they are on to their first problem. X, whatever, three, two, plus, minus, five, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Yeah, I'm coming back to that. Mr. Nicolosi finished the math problem and he's now dribbling the cut around the basketball and getting ready to match the states and capitals. Now what? Make up five cents TikTok. I don't know. Where are you at now? Now what? I mean, you, you didn't just tell me that. Whatever. You never finished your problem. I could finish it. I got it all done. They both got the math problem wrong, so they're coming back up to redo it. Capital faster than her. She did the math faster. Actually, and we both did the dribbling the same thing. I think I did it faster. I don't you think were just so. leaving as I was on the floor. No, I and don't. You were think there so. for a while. So, let's say. Hey, good score. We love it. Yeah. I lost. Those two cracked me up. They are really competitive. Great win, Miss Sloan. I knew you could do it. Hey, Liv, I wonder what time it is. It's time for trivia. Let's see what today's trivia question is with Olivia and Samantha in the trivia studio. Thanks, Lainey. Teachers, remember to text your answers to Mr. Meta to earn your points for today's question. The question is, other than wood, name a material that might be used when building a house. Again. Other than wood, name a material that might be used when building a house. Send in two answers to Mr. Meta to earn your points. Let's head back to Liv and Lainey for our last video segment. I heard it's going to be a very interesting one. I hope so. For today's last video segment, we are going to take a look at Kami and Avery's top five worst critters. Let's check hey it out. Hey Eagles, I'm Avery. And I'm Cami. Today we're going to be talking about the top five worst critters. Let's crawl right into it. The fifth worst critter is ants. Most of the time they aren't harmful, but they come in large numbers. If you leave out food, that could cause an infestation, and that is so frustrating. The fourth worst critter is a cricket. They're like the less extreme version of flies. They make a ton of noise, but they're a lot easier to catch. They're kind of scary looking, but I've had better experiences catching crickets than flies. The third worst critter is stink bugs. Stink bugs are also harmless, but the way they look is not okay. Sometimes they fly, which is terrifying. And personally, I don't think they smell bad, but they sure do stink. The second worst critter is a fly. They're harmless, but they're really annoying. They buzz constantly and they're so hard to catch. They must be better than spiders though, because they're way less intimidating. And last but not least, the worst critter is a spider. They're so gross. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a daddy long leg or a tarantula, get it away from me. Six legs are bad enough on their own, let alone eight. Now that you know the proper guide to critters, you should get outside and play since it's so warm out. I hope you guys found this helpful and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye! Great video. I don't know about you, but I hate bugs. I agree. Thanks for that great video, ladies. Let's see what's going on for today's live segment. Hi, Miss Holzer. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How was your afternoon? My afternoon was good yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think it was the weekend. Or, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, we ran some errands. Uh, my daughter and I went through a car wash, which is a very exciting thing. But it was good. Fun. Yeah. Um, so what are you doing in class today? Today you have a quiz over part two of The Book Thief. And we are going to be talking about part three and um, a little bit of reading time. Okay, fun. Good luck to all students in her class. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> um, um, so today we're going to be playing the five second rule. Okay. So we're going to ask you questions and you have five seconds to give us three answers. Okay, I can do that. Okay, ready? Okay. She's going to ask you questions. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. Ways to, name three ways to say hello. Hola, bonjour, hi. Okay, <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Name three farm animals. Cow, horse, pig. Good job. <laughs> Name three things to do in a power outage. 
get a flashlight, go outside if it's light out. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Last one. Oh, this one's hard. Name three professional basketball players. Current uh, LeBron, Michael Jordan. Yay! I think those are right. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this with us Thank today. you. I did not do very well, but thank you. <laughs> Fantastic job, guys. Now let's go to Sam and Olivia with today's This Day in History. Thanks, Liv. On February 5th, 1971, two Apollo 14 astronauts walked on the moon. Apollo 14 was the eighth crew mission in the United States Apollo program. The third to land on the moon. And the first to land in lunar highlands. Apollo astronauts Alan Shepard Jr. and Ed Mitchell began a second record-breaking moonwalk. That's awesome. Now let's head back to the newsroom with Liv and Lainey to wrap up today's newscast. Thanks, Sam and Olivia. That was an interesting this day in history. Before the show ends, and we here at Eagle News apologize for not doing this earlier. But we are going to start celebrating birthdays from previous weeks, so here it goes. Happy birthday to those high students that had birthdays this week. that we are doing this and now and happy birthday to all those eagles out there that had a birthday since last august hey, happy birthday happy in august now we have a quote for you just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day i'm liv i'm Lenny. i'm sam and i'm olivia thank you for listening for today's show have a fantastic friday and an amazing weekend bye, bye. bye.